Our cities haven't been designed with women in mind, as they were planned and built by men. Women and girls from all over the world experience insecurity in cities every day. <laughs> cities can be a difficult environment with the fear of harassment, physical violence and restriction of movement. How do you deal with it? You can't simply add thousands of police officers everywhere. So Plan International Belgium and Plan International Spain came up with a solution to turn unsafe cities into safer cities. The ambitious 360 degrees project involved improving youngsters' knowledge about street harassment and gender inequality, teaching them how to face these issues, bringing youngsters' voices to the political sphere and raising awareness in Belgium and Spain. All that needed lots of partners, high schools, universities, politicians, private companies, tens of NGOs and non-formal education entities. The project started with in-depth research and planning, keeping young people at the core as they were the main engine for change in their cities. The second part included education and networking, a gender transformative training for 400 youngsters, a gathering of international non-formal education partners to exchange best practices. The third part, a digital event called J500, gave more than 400 young participants a chance to share their ideas directly with important decision makers from the target cities. The whole project was communicated to traditional media such as national and regional TV, radio, booklets and newspapers. To better reach the target group, social media and popular influencers were also used. One of the results of the project is a simple but powerful harassment mapping tool, a web platform where everyone can point out the exact places where they feel unsafe or get harassed. You could also share when it happened, how it made you feel, who was involved and whether anyone tried to help you. Over 5,000 pins have already been made and sent to local authorities. The map is a great example of how useful and adaptable the Safer Cities project really is and how young women could be safer everywhere around the world. Two new cities, Alcobendas and Gant, have already joined the programme. Is your city next? <laughs>